Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Forever Envoy Extreme here. Here we are on the 5th of March and we've got one new mod for today for all platforms and console players. It was an early mod drop this morning and it is the Net and Twine Holder by Niku Pix. This is supporting the Straw Harvester Pack by Creative Mesh. So, what is the Net and Twine Holder? So, We'll have a look at these in a sec, so if we go to our mods, go down to our tools and baiters, as part of the straw harvester pack, you do have the options for obviously manually refill or automatically refill of net and twine for the bells and that. Of course you can set it to automatic so you don't have to worry about a supply limit. However, if you want to do a bit more realistic, a bit more manual, these are some good additions because they extend the capacities of the net and twine like the typical bell holds. So you'll find these under tools and under baders. And right at the end, next to our shrew harvest pack, so we've got the net and twine holder. This one will hold 8 nets, 12 nets, 16 twine or 24 twine. That is one slot count and goes down to one. The other net and twine holder is two slots, goes down to one. Also, I forgot to mention the mod is 3.07 megabytes to download. So, yep, yeah, and with the roller net and twine holder, it can hold. 16 twine or 8 nets and uh, yeah 24 twine and up to 12 nets so how do you know which one to go for simple that's part of the straw harvest pack you can either have a basically a round baiter or a square baiter so if I press R3 to show up the combinations for the Coprima round baiter that would need net and for the square painter, it will need twine. So yeah, what I've gone done is I've got both to just demonstrate both of them. So I'll open my help menu. I've got an option to raise and lower this. And yeah, and actually I do like the rolling version, like it actually rolls with the field. And the good thing is, it doesn't destroy crops, it doesn't destroy straw net, so in that part at least, you are good, so let's lower this. Oh, we need to close that first. There we go. So the bell's on, there we go. And yeah, so to make these bells and that, you'll need twine or nets. So that's one bell down. And yeah, I'm not too sure what the exact consumption rate is. But if you're, again, a fan of these, you'll know it all too well. And yes, it just extends capacity like nothing. And as we get to the end... And yeah, go back up here, finish this bell off. And then go and get the square beater. So yeah, we're able to get a couple of bells done, so it's not just a case of one to one. So yeah, overall that was 2%, so not too bad. Especially when you consider this will only hold four twine, no sorry, four bell nets. Whilst this one can hold eight nets, just for this one. Of course you can mix and match depending on which setup you prefer. So yeah, that is that. Next we'll head to the square baiter and yeah, this is going to be a simple short video. I did wait to see if there's any more mods than that, but no is the answer to that obviously. So yeah, if we drop that, our normal capacity is 66 twines and that goes up to 90. And of course you have option to raise and lower. Obviously, if you're working in the field with this one, I recommend to keep it raised so it doesn't 
hit the ground or, you know, have clipping issues with the ground. So, you know, serve this. And obviously it helps unfold the beam, first of all. And now we're bathing. So yeah, if you want to make your bells and that as part of the Shore Harvest Pack, and you aren't a fan of using the automatic supply system, if you fancy something a bit more realistic, then certainly this is the mod for you. And yep, I know there's going to be people out there saying, oh, why is there only one mod today? Why is Giants only releasing one mod for consoles and X amount of mods for PC? Simply put, it takes time to test mods. Yes, Giants has got new mod testers in the works and are currently training them. And yeah, it's not a case of overnight success in terms of training up staff to test mods and that. So, for those who are winch and whines about always stack on mods and that for consoles and that, just simply be patient. They will come, and they are coming. I think at the moment we've got between two and three hundred mods waiting to be tested, and that, and a couple of mods waiting to be tested are on the testing list at the moment. And they take about, I think at the moment it's ten work days. So all things considering, that is two weeks. So the Giants only works Mondays to Friday, and that so. Yeah, just have a little bit of patience, and they will come. And yeah, so that is the Net and Twine Holder by Nicopix. Before we go, and one thing I've got to show is the colour configurations. There are some configuration options, not many, so go to the first one. So, obviously you've got your 8 nets and that, 12 twines and all that other good stuff. You do have colour options, so main colour, your basic game palette, nothing new, nothing interesting. For the twine holder roller, as I'm going to call it, so you've got your main colour which changes the frame, so let's pick a John Deere yellow. And design colour, again, same as everything else, is your base game, basic palette, and that changes the roller colour, so that's that, and that's where I'm going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed this mod review. If so, smash that button, feel free to come down below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel, then please consider. But, where you choose to do, hope you have a day. But for now, this will be from Evoid Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.